gorgeous dress. Thank you. Oh my god, it's amazing. Thank We're you. It's House of CB. It's so I'm just a great. House of CB girl. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Gorgeous. I love that coming from you. <laughs> so good with the lipstick and the whole thing. Thank you. Oh my god, what a background. I, it's silly, right? Are it's, you hot? And up here? it's not fake. Yeah. Are, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. It's worth it though. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Lily, Hi. so nice to see you again. You too. This is our fourth chat for Emily in Paris, yeah. now in Rome. I have to say some of the episodes this part two were some of my favorite in Italy. So thank you. congratulations to you, first thank of all. You. Yeah, so I'm a Gabrielle and Emily shipper. Okay. Like they're end game for me. Okay. But I'm really obsessed with her and Marcello. Like, I think that they really have something going on. And I love the moment of them at the Trevi Fountain. And that was one of Emily's best looks ever that oh, day. Thank with you. the red butterfly backpack. The red backpack. butterfly oh backpack. God, backpack. Take me back to set that day. What was it like just being able to film at that iconic location for it that episode? It was so crazy. When I heard we were shooting there, I, I kind of rolled my eyes and went, yeah, right. Like, we're going to get the rights to do that. And we did. It was day one, morning one of oh. shooting in Rome. Uh, it was like five in the morning because tourists come so early we really? had to get there very quickly. Yes. It was freezing and it was so insanely magical to be able to be there and these lines are so good. About Lizzie McGuire movie, I'm like, hello. <laughs> Grew up watching that. I was like, who wrote this? This is brilliant. Yes. Um, but yeah, it was just such an iconic scene to be able to be a part of. And the location, everything about it was was stunning. Yeah. What did you love about working with Eugenio for the, just being here in Italy and working with him? It was great to add Italian actors being in Rome, of course, and like yeah. hearing the accent is so amazing because we're so used to now French <laughs> yes. accents, which are also just so romantic. But it's so lovely to to work with someone who's coming in fresh and like to add someone new to the cast, he fit right in right away, was just so excited to be here and just game to do anything. And it was really nice because his character brings out something very different in Emily than the other ones have, mm -hmm. than Gabrielle or Alfie. And yeah, it was like, welcome to the party, get ready. <laughs> I love that. So obviously this season where it's broken up into two parts, which I actually kind of liked because the story resonates with me as mm. a viewer. Do you like binging a series or do you like watching it like weekly, like episodically? Do you and your husband like watch stuff? I just feel like sometimes it resonates more when you watch stuff week to week. Yeah, you know what's funny is I grew up, of course, only watching week to week because there was Same. no other option. And I loved waiting until Monday nights for that show or Thursday nights for that show. And I kind of, it became like a ritual. Yes. But in this day and age, also with the amount of time that we have to actually watch TV, sometimes it's very limited, so you want to watch it all at once. So binging, it depends on the show. Yeah. Like, if you're going to watch, like, Love is Blind, I want to binge it. Because <laughs> I want to know what happens. <laughs> How much input do you get into Emily's wardrobe? The iconic, you know, like, the black and white striped outfit. I know you've talked about that this season. It's iconic. But how much does Lily get to, you know, say, hey, I, I think that she should have this or pair this with that? Well, we know some of the scenes ahead of time. Not always, but, like, okay. the big costume moments. And then Marilyn and I talk. She has her thoughts of, like, the aesthetic. And then oh, cool. for that black and white gown, I went, can we go to Harris? Read because I was a fr I'm friends with Harris and I went oh, cool. only he can design this and he is a visionary and a total genius when it comes to this so we went to Harris he said of course and then they we all kind of created it um, so with with the costumes it really is a collaborative experience with Marilyn I adore working with her she's an absolute like legend mm -hmm. and. Um, so yeah, it's a constant conversation, lots of fittings. Fun. You have to be best friends after working yeah, together. Yeah, oh my god, and she knows show. every inch of me. Oh. That, like literally like every size, every tweak, every she's just like in her brain now. Yes. So you've played this character for 4 years now and to me it feels like you have to be protective of mm. the character after playing her for this long, but I know it all comes from Darren's, you know, mind. What are your personal hopes for Emily's future? I hope that she can find a balance between love and career, but what what do you yeah. hope for? Oh, I definitely think that she's learning that more and more. I'd love her to keep putting her phone down more. Yeah. <laughs> more experiences in Italy. And I, I really would. I'd love to, like, meet her family. Mm -hmm. I want to meet some family members. Yeah. So you are know? we going to have her family come visit I don't know. Chicago I think they should. Something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fly out. Yeah. Well, they are giving me the wrap. Is Redford here? I asked you about Redford last I know. time. Oh, Redford's I, not. He's Redford, sadly, is not here. Yeah. Yeah. But, but he'll, he'll come back again if we get to come back. I love that little doll so much. <laughs> thank He's you. so cute. Lily, thank you so much. Nice You're always so you nice again. to chat with. Nice oh, to you see too. you too. And I'll see you at the premiere tonight. Yes. Looking like 
like this. I uh, hope I'm so. I'm going to be wearing a red gown tonight. This was just for now? This was just for you, girl. You showed up like this? Yes. <laughs> this is just for you. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Lily. Thank you. He loves color. Thank you. I know Lily was like, are you wearing this to premiere? I was like, no, I have a red dress for later. <laughs> this is, I have to bring all my dressy outfits to this. <laughs> Luca, Camille, and Ashley, so nice to see the three of you again, and congratulations on this season. I have to say, season four, part two, has some of my favorite episodes and moments in the entire series, so I'm so excited for fans to see it. Ashley, I want you to take me back to set and filming Mindy's insanely gorgeous, amazing ballad in front of the fountain. Mm -hmm. That was one of my favorite moments for your character in the entire series, and I literally got teary-eyed. Oh, thank take you. Take me back to filming that day, because I know like Lily's recording you, but how how long did that whole sequence take? Um, it took it was very challenging and very rewarding. It was yeah. actually the last scene that I uh, wrapped on of this oh. season, and. Uh, um, because it was an original song, and we had to, and we recorded it, and had to learn it, and really figure out what it's. It's always interesting to do an original song because it, it can come from you and your own soul a bit. Mm -hmm. But um, it was wild to do that in the square, and I think uh, what I loved about it really was that it was the first time that it was really reminiscent of the first time that. Mindy sang for Emily, Livy and Rose in the park, yes. but it felt like in Rome this time, and it was really, when she sang then and also in Rome, it felt extremely like internal, like it was some kind of release or self-expression that she was getting to share. It was yeah. really meant to, meant to be with Emily, um, and then it, it, it folds on from there, but I, I, it, was, it was very special. Yeah, and I feel like that must have been an emotional day for you on set. Incredibly. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it's, it's beautifully done, actually, beautifully done. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, Camille, we finally see where your character, Camille, like what she truly wants this season, and it is to be a mom and doing it on her own. Do you think that we're gonna see her in, you know, her motherhood days and like the next, you know, season of Emily in Paris since this is what she's decided that she's wanted? Well, um, mm -hmm. I hope it's not going to be a baby um, <laughs> because a shooting with a baby is very complicated. <laughs> I already did it and I, um, I I feel weird to hold someone else's baby. Right. So um, I will be glad if she adopts a kid <laughs> already. I don't have a baby. Uh, you don't have to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, but, but yeah, I, I think it's, um, it's an interesting storyline because um, as women, that I guess what society expects of us. Yeah. Uh, so it's good that I got this storyline, but we will see. I don't know anything about next season. So. Oh, I, I just love that. I love that for her. Thank well, you. Luca, you know that I'm an Emily and Gabrielle shipper. I want them to be endgame. What are your personal hopes for Gabrielle for his near future? I, w I would love to f see where he could find a balance, kind of like Emily, and have career and work. Absolutely. Um, <coughs> it's, it's a bit. It's a bit. It's a. It's. It's very hard when you love a character. You know, you can. You cannot be a character if you have a judgment over him. So mm -hmm. otherwise, it makes you uh, exterior. Yeah. So when when I'm, when I'm when I'm in character, I'm. I want him to be the best version of himself. Of himself, but yeah, the the the, the choices he made this season makes me made made me grow apart from him, and um, it's hard for me to understand a few things uh, he does. But I, it's a sensitive subject. I don't know. I I guess uh, I guess it's all it's all about the writing. It's all about how they're trying to maintain something without without uh, leaning into it, but at the same time. Uh, it it takes it takes uh, it takes a good uh, feather to, you know, um, play around those nuances without giving anything in, and yeah, sometimes uh, you have better scenes than others, and uh, you know, I've, I was a bit frustrated about the ski slope, obviously, because after four seasons running after each other, yeah. breaking up over just uh, like uh, five minutes of skiing mm. would felt felt a bit weird and. And him being him being a bit like um, uh, stubborn, being like, but she's having my baby, like <laughs> like that's all that matters in the world. It's but you know it's uh, at the end of the day we're just actors and we have to. You acted it well. Yeah, yeah, you acted it well. I mean, yeah, he definitely had tunnel vision this yeah. season yeah. for a lot of it. And you're right, you do become protective over a character mm. after you know playing him or her for multiple years. Mm. And even though it is coming from the mind of Darren, we all have personal hopes. Really quick before I wrap, what are your personal hopes for for Mindy? <laughs> I know who I'm shipping her with. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. But um, I actually really I think that. Uh, 
Mindy has a lot of work to do, and we we and because she's been so busy uh, f focusing on maybe like what her career path is, and with um, with helping Emily, like she hasn't turned inward, and she has a lot of work to do on herself. Yeah. And so I would like her to to see her try to reconcile what her past is, what she wants for her future, yeah. and who she is right now. I love that. Well, I yeah. definitely ship you and Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. Well, yes, they are wrapping me. Congratulations Thank again you. to the three of you. So Thanks. lovely to chat with the three of you again, and I'll see you guys tonight. Super I'll be in a red yeah. dress. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Samuel and Bruno. So nice to see the two of you again, and congratulations on this season. I have to say this season, part two, has some of my favorite oh, really? episodes and moments of the whole entire series, so congratulations. Like I was saying, I need a new, a new season of this show every year until I die. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, one of my favorite Julian moments, though, is the luggage moment of Pierre <laughs> Cadeau. That is one of the best moments in the whole series. Take me back to set that day and how often you had to do that because you know all of us fans love that. Yeah, well, it was uh, it was very funny every single time and uh, they made me do it so many times as well. And every time I was doing it like a different way. You so. <laughs> Were you just rolling it back all day? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Well, your character, obviously, you know, he has found love in like the, Mich the Michelin star chef here, but obviously things are not kind of as they seem. Do you think that this is going to be kind of, you know, end game for Luke? Like he's going to remain with the, you know, the Michelin star chef? I'm forever? not sure. I'm not sure. I think uh, in the new part of the, the second part of the season four, we will discover something that could happen for him. And uh, Marianne is not uh, anymore the only one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. That's true. I also love how he goes on and on about Krakow, saying this is his favorite city. Yeah. What are some of your favorite European cities, like some little gems that you've been to that you would recommend anywhere in Europe? I just love Ibiza. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. I love Ibiza. You know, I went to Ibiza, and in my head it was like party, boom, boom, boom. And we went to the old town. Oh. And it's so beautiful, and uh, the culture there is like so, like you know, strong, and uh, obviously the food and everything. Like I just love Ibiza. Mm, I love that. What about for you? I have a, a lot of city to recommend, but I have to say that there is a part of Italy that I love a lot. It's Tuscan, Tuscany, oh. Tuscany, and there is a lot of cities there you have to to discover. Siena. Uh, Volterra, San Gimignano, a lot, a lot. It's a beautiful place in Italy. I need to go. This is my you first time to. in Italy, so oh, I'm yeah. doing everything with, you know, I had Paris. This show has taken me everywhere. Paris and just now like us. I know, just like, just <laughs> like you guys. Well, it seems like Julian kind of has Emily's back this season specifically when, like, the new American girl comes in. He's like, no, Emily's seat is, is warm enough, I think. Can, what can you tease for the fans about him just, you know, being, like, kind of that confidant to Emily this season? The thing is that it was always the case. Mm -hmm. Emily and Julian feuds were just the translation of, you know, a family relationship. Someone, sometimes they fight, sometimes they, you know, they support each other, yeah. but do not talk bad about my sister. <laughs> I do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's like the same. Yeah, that's like the yeah. same. Is that like this? That's kind of the same vibe. For exactly. Luke, I think. Exactly. I, I feel like a, a big brother of Emily, yes. and uh, I share to her a lot of uh, culture of friends, you know, the books, the cinema, the places. Oh, I bring right. her to the Père Lachaise Cemetery. I, I, I give to her uh, the book of Balzac. I, I share to her the cinema Le Champeau with Francois Truffaut. So I'm like a protective guy with, uh, with Amy, like a brother. But I remember us talking about the cinema in our last interview yeah. too, that scene. Well, I have to talk about the White Lotus season two because yeah. it's one of the best seasons of TV ever. The iconic Jennifer Coolidge moment. These gays, they're trying to murder me. <laughs> I was one of them. I know. Them. That is that is one of the most iconic lines in, in TV yeah. cinema now. Take me back to set that day and filming that scene on the boat with the ensemble and Jennifer, you know, where, where you guys were. Yeah. That was that was Italy too. Yes, it was yeah. in Sicily, Taormina. In Sicily. It was in Taormina. We have a lot of plays, but... Uh, the boat, we, 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 we go to, to you know, the, the sea, and we stay all the, the day on, on sea. And uh, Jennifer was a little bit sick by the sea, and she's so great actress. I, I learn a lot with her. She's altogether sentimental. You know, she's like a child and very sexy. She's like a tragedy, and she's very comic. She's, uh, she's all to the, the thing together, like... Uh, 
big movie stars. She's fantastic. How many times did she say that line to you guys? Not so many times, <laughs> I have to say. Not so many times, but because she do it perfectly. We are all laughing that, that day, I remember. I love These guys, that. they are trying to murder me. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to kill me. Yeah. Well, they are rapping me. It was so great to catch up with the two of you again, and I'm so excited for fans to see where Julian and Luke are going in Season 4, Part 2. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you. Thank Always you. so much fun to chat with. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, guys. You.